in Creole Parametric, you can associate a bunch of draft entities and detail items into what's called a draft group. Here I have a drawing that I imported from a DXF file. If I hover my mouse over a bunch of things, let me jump to the sketch tab. If I hover my mouse, you can see that we have a bunch of different draft entities. I'll go to the annotate tab. Here I have a driven dimension. And so if I want to grab all these different entities so that they behave as a single entity that I can move around together, I'm going to create a draft group. First, you will click on the draft group command, and this is an older command, so it will open up the menu manager. You can see that there are five main commands in here. I will go to the create command, and now it prompts me to select one or more entities. So I'm going to use box select to grab a bunch of different things, and it looks like I grabbed something I didn't want. Let me hold down the control key and deselect that, and use the control key to add one other entity in here. Now I will click the OK button, and it prompts me to give a name to this. I'm going to call this the side view, and then hit the Enter key. Now I've got the draft group created. Let's create one more. I will swipe a box over these entities down here, and then click the OK button. And now I will call this the bottom view and hit the enter key so now i have two different draft groups created let's take a look at what that means i will use the repaint icon and now when i am on the annotate tab let's say i try to grab this dimension and then move it before i move it you'll notice that all the other different entities here turn into a cyan color let me grab and move this and you'll see that moving the dimension moved all the different draft entities along with it let me deselect everything and now go to the sketch tab that's just to facilitate picking one of the draft entities and similarly when i picked one entity it highlights all the other members of the draft group in cyan and now when i drag that you can see that everything is moving along with it and so it moves the different draft entities and the details as well let's say that you wanted to get rid of a draft group well let's go back to the annotate tab and then we have draft group and that again opens up the menu manager the explode command is what will take those different entities in the draft group and have them not be a draft group anymore and so when i click on explode you can either select it in the graphics area or you can choose by name and i'll choose by name and just pick the bottom view that i made and so now if i go to say this entity here and try to move it oops let's get out of the menu manager i'll click on this and try to move it you'll notice that it moves on its own without the rest of the entities in there similarly if i go to the sketch tab and click on an entity hey i can grab this one entity and then move it away from the rest of the entities because they're no longer associated together so that's how you can create and dissolve a draft group i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.